wash your minds, cleanse your minds. This is the gateway that is opening now. It is so powerful now. It is so strong now. It is so simple now. Many of you who have never done a single spiritual practice in your entire lives on this planet, even though that statement is not completely true as you do spiritual practices every day because you are spiritual. But what I mean is many of you do not do conscious spiritual practices in your days. Make this a sp conscious spiritual practice. Simply place your mind in your heart and watch how your heart envelops it, expands it, transforms it washes it, cleanses it, purifies it. And things like forgiveness will happen automatically. Judgment will begin to vanish. Compassion will be begin to expand. Because now the mind is improved. It is entwined with the love of the heart. When the mind becomes entwined with the love of the heart, what pulls forth? Compassion. What is compassion? Love and understanding. You will become a compassionate being. Gratitude will simply pour from you. It is a state of natural being. You will naturally be in a state of gratitude, as your natural state is a forgiving state. Forgiveness is not an act. Forgiving is a constant state. You will realize that the light in itself is just a forgiving light. It is a loving light. Its very nature is that. And you will begin to realize that you are that. You are that. It is a simple practice. It can be done anywhere. You can be speaking with someone. You can be in the shower. You can be making yourself a cup of tea, coffee. You can be making yourself food. You can be at work. You can be in a business meeting. You can be with friends. Just constantly, constantly place your mind in your heart. 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 In your heart. And then, gradually, bit by bit, you'll become that. Your mind and your heart will be one, merged. It already is one. It already is merged. You just have to realize it. Once the concepts of separation have been cleansed away, you'll begin to understand that they were just concepts, that they were just delusional concepts. But until you step beyond that, you'll never know it to be a concept. It will always seem so real to you. So allow the light of your own heart, the light, the love, the presence, the grace that exists within yourself to be the very power that transforms your very presence, your very being. You begin to expand within yourself. You begin to understand who you truly are and you begin to become the light that you truly are. Be that light now. It is time. It is time. My beloved ones, call on us angels to assist you. Call on your ascended masters to assist you. Call on the Supreme, however you see the Supreme, to assist you. Your relationship with the Divine is personal. It is your own personal relationship with the Divine. Build that relationship. It is more important now than ever for you to have that relationship. Because the coming shifts on the planet, this will bring you the comfort that you need. For the outer world will shift. The mind will shift. The subconscious mind will shift. The unconscious mind will shift. It is going to be under 
tremendous shifting. The dirt, the muck, the discordance is going to percolate up down to the top. It already has begun. You've been seeing it already within your political views, within the planet's changes. It is going to begin to accelerate now. As more light begins to pour in, as it rushes through, what do you think will happen? The light will wash it and cleanse it like a tidal wave. This is a tidal wave of light that is coming your way. The planet will be flooded, but not by water. This time it will be flooded by fire. The fire of the light. And it will burn up, it will transmute, it will transform all the unforgiveness in people's hearts, all the discordant thoughts and patterns and patterns of behavior. Remember, we do not see this as good or bad. It is simply something that must happen at this time. The rotting leaves, the dead wood, which has been called discordance or unforgiveness, is going to be the fuel and it will bright, shine brightly and burn brightly. The very hardships you have gone through, the very traumas you have gone through, and the traumas and hardships that you will be going through are going to be the fuel to which your own light will begin to shine through. You will become a radiant being, vibrant, healthy, radiant. Now is the time. But remember, not all of you have contracted to see this through. Some of you have contracted to only go halfway. And those of you who are light workers who have been here to see the process from beginning to end, give love to those when it is now their time to return back to the spirit realm where they will be replenished, where they will be refreshed, and where they will come back again with tremendous light and strength onto the planet. Everything is working in perfectly orderly plan, not according to the mind's plan or the ego's plan, but according to the plan that you all chose to be a part of before coming to this world, before this world even existed. That is the ultimate freedom of choice. You chose to be here. That is your freedom of choice. Freedom of choice is not whilst you're here on this planet. Freedom of choice exists from the very center of creation. You chose to be on the planet at this time. And when you leave, it is your time to leave. You chose the exit point. No one chose it for you. You did. So do not hold grudges if one harms another. From your perspective, it seems tragical and terrible and terrifying. And we understand this. We simply ask for a moment even a second, try and see it from our perspective and you will begin to understand that there is a greater plan in place and that ultimately no one, no one, and I mean no one, is truly harmed. No one. The body might be harmed temporarily, but the soul, the spirit, the light, the true you, the true self can never be harmed cannot even be touched. Remember that in the coming days. If you stand and center yourself within the light using the simple technique that I showed you, coupled with gratitude, gratitude, such an important aspect 
of life. Gratitude. Be grateful. Look for the miracles in your daily life. Look for them. There will be miracles happening in your life constantly. Gratitude and miracles. Write them down. Be grateful for them. Be grateful for all that exists in your experience. And your life will become a constant life, a constant upward trend of purity and light. And when hardships and struggles do come, they will be meaningless. There will be whiffs of clouds that pass through and leave, only to leave you even the more clearer of vision. My beloved ones, stand strong now within your light. Call forth the light from your own heart. Be centered within your own heart. And allow our blessings to fill your everyday life. Allow the light that you are to shine forth, to radiate from you, and to transform your very experience. It is within you. It is you. Be it. Be it. I am the Archangel Gabriel, speaking through this vessel. And we, the angels of light, bless you all. Namaste. for watching this um, I hope that hope Gabriel's message will bring you some comfort and some guidance for the coming days namaste thank you